here we've got a vertex. One thing that they've been killing people with on SATs are false X and Y axes. So they're just waiting for you to just say that 70 is the Y intercept for this parabola. And so one very important formula that you don't want to go into an SAT with, without is the vertex formula of a parabola. Y equals A X minus H squared plus K. So they'll give you something like this and they'll ask you which of the following looks like it could be the equation. Well, first of all, it's an upside down parabola. So we know that this number here has to be negative. That's one very important thing. The other thing is that the vertex appears to be, let's say, just generalizing it, 325 slash 130, right? So then the H and the K in the vertex form are going to be 325 and 130 right there. Now that A in the front, all you need to be able to do to find out what A is, is take one of the points, like in this case, we can say this point right here, 200 slash, you know, comma 70, roughly. And when you plug that in, so Y is 70, X is 200, everything else stays the same. This will allow you to solve for A. So between being aware of false X and Y axis, knowing the vertex form of a parabola and plugging in the point you have to find the A, you can get the equation. And also knowing that if it opens downward, it's, it has a negative sign in the front, you can get the equation of the parabola.